trigger finger, middle finger, I'm about to kill it. Peace. Peace wise, what do we want to do? This peace wise function, we want to find an equation, all right? So what do we need? We need to find the equations of these pieces. This piece, boom. That's y is equal to three. Because it's a horizontal line. Now, we need to find the equation of this line. Many ways to do it. We could take two points, find the slope, and use point slope. <laughs> Three step process in another video. Or we can find the slope from a graph. We see, we see, we see, we see. This is gonna rise one, run one. So our mm, slope is one, up one, over one. All right, and if we continue on that path, up one, over one, our y-intercept is gonna be deuces. So that's our b right there. Our y-intercept is two. Now, there should be some harder examples, but this is what we have here. And if we're looking for the equation of this line, we can put it in y equals mx plus b. Now, in that form, we have our y is equal to, whoa, whoa, whoa there. So then our mm, slope is one, fun. 1x plus, and our b is deuces. Now, we need to put it all together in a piecewise defined function, and if we're gonna do that, we're looking for f. What the f? Boom, it's gonna be in pieces. Sure, a top piece and a bottom piece. Let's just make our blue piece our top piece. So, we see f of x is gonna be three y because f of x is the function formerly known as y. So then this is y is equal to three. But what x is, is that good for? It's not the entire graph. x is our independent variable. y is our dependent variable. So we need to find which x is this works for. Boom. It's blue on this x-axis when x is bigger than minus one. So our x's that govern that piece is when x is, wait for it, bigger than minus one. Fun. Now we put our yellow piece. Mm -hmm. Our yellow piece, this piece, boom, f of x is the function formerly known as y. So f of x is equal to x plus two. Now I didn't write the one because it's redundant. I don't want to repeat that. That's when x is what? Is it when x is bigger than minus one? No, it's when x is smaller than minus one. All of these x's make that happen because x is the independent. So when x is smaller than minus one. Now, who owns minus one? Uh -huh. You can tell which one owns the endpoint by open dot and close dot. The open dot is just the bigger than. The close dot, that's the smaller than or equals to. Hmm. <laughs> Box and flower. Peace. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.